Okay, welcome back again everyone. Um, this is uh, another video, or the follow-up video, on the Great Wall V200. Um, we're actually going to change an injector out this time. Um, I did a previous video on um, how to do a, a leakage test, an injector leakage test. So I'll leave, put a link in the description, that video first. So watch that one first and you'll be able to do this one. Um, that's the injector. So you know, put that in the number. It comes from AliExpress. Just takes forever to ship it over here. All right, first part. We'll get this engine cover off and we'll get stuck into it. All right, now the injector, when we did the leakage test, the injector needed replacing was number four. It's always the one at the back that's hard to get to. Um, so what I'll do, I'll get you into a closer look and we'll start getting him out. All right, here's the injector back here. Um, what we need to do is just move a few hoses, or well, this hose here out the way. Just loosen it and twist it around. Try not to disturb too much. And there's the high pressure line there that goes into the injector. So I need to undo that and move it out of the way. So you'll need a 17 mil spanner for that. around that I think. Let's see how we get that back up. Alright there's that plastic. There's a few hose on the back, the return line, you to pop that off. Same hose as you um, did the injector leakage test on. And now you've got to disconnect the wiring that's on the back of the injector. That's what the actual plug looks like. So what you need to do, these two little grey clips, you just pop them back. And then the, that should just slide off the injector. Easier said than done, but it's in a hard spot to get to. Okay, there's actually a clamp that holds the injector in, it goes in around the injector and there's a 10 millimeter screw just there or a bolt and it pulls down on the injector, holds it in, so you just got to undo that. That 10 mil socket. Now that's the clamp you're looking for. The injector sits in there, gets pulled down. So that's when you gotta undo. Alright, with a bit of luck that injector should just should just slide out now. Depends on how long they've been in there for. Should be able to just lever it up. Just try and pull it up straight.
sometimes they get stuck you got to put a, a slide screw a slide hammer on the end and knock it out that way but these haven't been in here very long so at the moment it comes out fairly easy just make sure if, before you pull the injector out you make sure you clean around the area you don't want any debris going back into the cylinder Okay, that's what the injector looks like. <coughs> I'm just going to go back in and find the copper washer. It must be sitting down the bottom, so you make sure you get that out so you can put a fresh one in. All right, here's the new injector. Um, before you put the injector in, make sure um, you need to punch a number into the car's e um, ECU. So you need to write down the numbers that are actually printed on um, the side of the injector. So I've already put the copper washer in there. Slide this in. What I might do is pull this valve off. I was hoping I didn't have to take it off, but it looks like I may have to. It's just in the way. I can't get that plug on. Okay, we'll put all the engine back together here. I won't put the top cover on. We'll, um, we're going to go and re, um, put the new codes in for the injector. Every time you replace the injector, you've got to put the new code in. Um, so we'll go and do that, and I'll start the engine, and we'll come back and check for leaks before I put this top, co top cover back on. All right, we're just going to program the um, new injector into the ECU. So I've got it all um, plugged into the ABD2 port. Fire up software. Okay. I'll try and keep it in focus, it's a bit hard one handed. There's a um, bit of an instructions on how to put it all in. All right, let's click OK. OK, yeah, it's similar to number four we're after. So we get into four. OK. This is where you put the injector number in.
The letters have got to be in um, capitals. Okay, that's the numbers put in. Hopefully it's right. Just click OK. There we go, it's completed. Alright, that's it. I'll just go back and double check it just to make sure it is actually in. And there it is there, number four cylinder. Okay. Just abort that in here. Okay, we'll start the car now and um, we'll check for leaks. Okay, we've got no leaks, um, so this job's all done, I'll just put the engine cover back on. So I'll link in the description down the bottom the, um, the other two videos I've got, one on the um, injector leakage test, how to perform that, and also the software and hardware so you can reprogram the injectors. So I'll leave them in the description down below, and thanks for watching.